In this video, I spent an entire day as a disabled YouTuber. Gaming, going to the shops, and even going on public transport in a wheelchair to understand what it's like to live like my friend Alan, who has cerebral palsy. The rules were simple. I couldn't leave the wheelchair from when I sat in it and had to be helped by my friend Kian for the entire day. Let's smash 500 likes in this video to spread awareness of what it's like to have a disability and make sure you watch to the end to hear Alan's inspirational story. Trying to open other people's eyes to the disability so that hopefully things will be better for future generations. Uh, his gamer tag thing. Before I could get into wheelchair, I wanted to spend some time with Alan to see what it was like doing what he loves to do best, which is gaming, what his YouTube channel is based on. Alan! What's poppin'? Do you know Keen from YouTube? Yeah, he, uh, he's a big TikTok star. Basically, the video today, Alan, is I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. Say, when we're playing this game, I want to have the same like restrictions that you have. Does that make sense? So you can only do stuff with your right finger is it? Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be a hard thing for me to do. I can barely it's do anything with all my fingers. Okay, so I gotta press left and right. I'm gonna be the one that looks the most like Kian. Sid. Where's Sid? Is he there? <laughs> is he there, Kian? Right, Alan, let's play. You just pick whichever one you want. Just, just not Rainbow Road. <laughs> that place. Oh my God, it's working. Oh, oh no. Oh my God, let's go, Alan. Oops. The bit we would like Oops. to do do around your area here is go to a shop. So I dipped my toes and stuff, got things warmed up with Alan, but now it was time for the real juice to go down. Could we get to the shops? And was it accessible? So we're going down to the shops now to see what the accessibility is like. It was grand, Alan. Nice and accessible. So we make it into Super Value, no bother. Now the question is, can I get through the aisles? And when it comes to getting a chicken filler roll, will they cater for someone who's in a wheelchair? It's from a whole different perspective when you're down here, because I think you're way more conscious of the width of things. This is like my line of sight here, whereas normally you'd be up there. Hi, can I get a chicken filler roll, please? Thank you, the best. Cheers. Getting drinks, on the other hand, was not impossible if I didn't have a helper, so I had to settle for some shitty smart water instead of the vit hit that I wanted. Check there from Super Value Successful. Alan, we did it. We went back to Alan's house and had lunch, and then it was time for myself and Kian to leave Alan and venture into town ourselves. The first challenge was the train. Yeah, you can tap, yeah. All right, just about wide enough. Where do we get down? A ramp? We need a ramp somewhere. What we didn't realize is that to actually get onto the train, you're going to need a ramp, which is something that you need to ring the station beforehand to get. And as it was at such short notice, we didn't have that. So my first f up of the day was having to walk onto the train. Secondly, Keen was now going to have to need for speed me off the train in Connolly to have any hope of getting me onto the platform. Only problem with that was that Keen was dying for a piss. Right, we're coming up to Connolly now. Keen was dying for a piss. Keen was going to ask have to absolutely get toss me off this. This is just the worst. Oh, I don't think I can make it. Oh, My eyes are so brown. Keen, go on, push me. Go on, go on, go on. Keen, go on, this is fine. Oh, it's Keen. This is so embarrassing. Right, we're going to the lift. Kino's here, he's taking his piss. What if your care really needs to take a piss and they can't push you off on time? You're uh -huh. Oh And what are we going down to one? Yeah. Yeah, if Alan was in here, he probably couldn't fit it. He's smaller than we barely fit the chair in. Toilets are located in the waiting. Where the f do you work this? Bro, we got through that, no bother. Just let us go through. But now we have to get another fucking lift. This is lift number three. There's no way Alan's chair could fit through here. What the f do we do here? We can't get through here. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh! You just don't notice how like the paths can be not accessible as well. You know? Such a different atmosphere when you uh, when you're literally like three feet shorter. Everything seems so imposing. We're gonna try and go iron it and uh, see if we can go upstairs. Second floor, second floor, second floor. Nobody's in there. Oh, nice and accessible. Good lift. We want to go to women's footwear. Floor one. So we were able to go to one of our favorite stores, and they were accessible. They had a good lift. We could get up it. So well done, Arnold. 
Although there were moments where I f***ed up during the day and just had to get out of the wheelchair, my perspective had completely changed from the few hours I had spent essentially having a disability. The world is really built for able-bodied people. We don't notice how the, f the pavement might be f***ed up which doesn't allow wheelchairs to go over it or how the lifts just aren't wide enough to facilitate someone like Alan who has a big wheelchair and how people just blatantly stare at you when you're in a wheelchair as if you're some kind of freak when you're just another human like everybody else but was born differently. And so after I was done in town I went back to Alan in Maynooth to get his perspective and how the work he's doing is impacting the world around him. Trying to open other people's eyes to, to disability so that hopefully Things will be better for future generations, I guess. Like a lot of people think, oh, look at him. Like he's such an inspiration for like just going out or waking up or whatever. But for me, I don't see it like that. I just see it like it's some, it's an obstacle to overcome. But focusing on the abilities of life is my main thing. How would you like to be remembered? Not, not as, not for being in a wheelchair, just for being being the person and I guess somebody who like made a difference about disability. Like I hope through my videos that I can show the people that like it's not all bad. In fact, very little of it is actually bad and then you can, you can make do with like a bad set of cards or whatever you're dealt in life. You can make do like Yes. Oh, well done. Thank you. Proud of yourself. Here we are, burning up in our cars, and in our hearts, better days, sleeping late with our headaches, perfect weather. Well done to the 26 people who found the Easter egg in the last video, and now you're getting a shout out at the end of this one. Let's go. Lily, Nicole Darcy, Sean Miller, Sean McCooey, Lorcan Grace, Liam Kelly, Hishin Barim, Caleb Joyner, Antakers365, Judith Madison, Aaron Gaming, Claude Afriel, MAO, LMAO, Yeet, Daniel Armstrong Music, Kira Luby, Ashling, I can't pronounce your second name, Emma Mahoney, Callum White, EMC, Kay McNally, Kenan2002, Ramesh Productions, to Tola Bowen, McCurtain, Orla Keeling, and Ava Nevin. Thanks for watching this week's video. I'm going to include a snippet now of the next video. Have a great week. Go ahead, boys. You skipped the question. Which one? You have to answer everything. No, no blanks. You can't get marks for nothing. Write something down. You think you're smart or something? Put your hands out. Just for being smart. <laughs> <laughs>